I'm glad to see you. After last week, well, I wasn't sure you'd be back. Honestly, I wasn't planning on it. Yeah, what changed your mind? Made a big mistake. You'll be so happy. We actually have something new to talk about. Well, that depends on what it is. What's wrong? After last session, I was really mad at you. I just stayed mad for a long time. Went to bed mad, woke up mad. It wasn't always the primary emotion, but it was there, underneath. Well, I'm sorry that our discussion last week upset you. It wasn't even about you. I mean, it was a bit. But it was like I couldn't breathe. It made me feel like I used to. My dad, when I was a kid, I just wanted to lash out. We spoke at length about the issues with your father leaving up to your diagnosis. We also talked about how what happened to you wasn't your fault. Maybe not. This is. I slept with Link. Your activist friend? Ugh. Don't bullshit me, Michelle. He's one of your patients. Okay, yes. But I'm rather concerned that you know that. Gave me one of your college essays. I don't know what kind of game you're playing. Just be careful. It's been through a lot. You both have. You knew it was me. Didn't you? You knew it was me all along. You, you've been feeding him all this bullshit about love conquers all, knowing that I'm gonna break his heart? Wow. Really underestimated you, Michelle. You really are the worst person I've ever met. Clara? What, did you at least have the decency to tell him about my plans? Or were you just gonna pretend that you weren't involved? Okay, we are not discussing me or one of my other patients. Don't be a coward. Cards on the table, now. Okay, yes, I knew. And he is, he's deeply in love with you. There, that's so hard. Actually, yeah, it was. After 20 years of practice, I have never broken patient confidentiality. Ugh, now you're playing the moral high ground. 10 minutes ago, you were just using him as bait another failed gamut to convince him. It wasn't your life I was trying to save. What? Since you two have met, he's, well, last session, he mentioned this concert in three months that he might buy tickets for. Why is that weird? Because until then, he's never talked about a future more than a week ahead. You realize what you're asking me? No, I'm not asking anything for- You know exactly what you're doing, don't you? This is emotional bullying, it's extortion, and you're right. Oh God. I can't do this to him. You're asking me to choose between my life or his. A future where you both live? That doesn't sound so bad to me. Yeah, because you're a fucking sociopath. You can't stop messing in other people's lives. I guess you're happy now. Congratulations, Michelle. You win.